What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leanne. I'm too cool. It's a dark king geek. Welcome to my channel. Woo! Let's talk about Dead Devil Season 3. Damn, what a phenomenal season, yo. It started off as a slow burn and it kept on building momentum, momentum. Oh, it was just an amazing, amazing season, yo. I legit binge watched it all night from the moment they released it. Like, goddamn, that was just an amazing episode. I mean, season entirely. Uh, let me talk about characters. Matt Murdock, especially. His progression throughout the season was phenomenal. You saw him um, basically get back to who he was. Because first he was deaf in one ear and he couldn't smell. Like, that building falling on him really did some damage. I mean, like, you know, being a visual ant here is hard. You know what I'm saying? You gotta recuperate. And he thought, you know, he would rather die as the devil than leave as Mad Murdock. And you had his mother basically popping him up as he went. One of the classic moments was when he was boxing that dude under the church. Yo. Oh. When he started whooping that dude's ass for a little second, he was like, how does this happen? This dude's blind. I love that. That moment when he shots people. Like, in Defenders, he had that a lot. He started growing, you know what I'm saying? Still trying to reconnect with his old peers. He went to see Foggy, Karen. But as Daredevil, not as Matt Murdock, he was talking weirdly to them, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to distance himself from his old life. Cause his whole life brought him nothing but pain and he wanted to focus on the joy in his life he'll, he'll hate to admit it but he really loves going out and protecting people it's his calling even though he he said God didn't give him the calling anymore damn he was questioning religion so much throughout the season it was kind of phenomenal the story <sighs> Karen her diving deep they're all they all intertwined because of Wilson Fisk. Like he played a chess piece that made them all do predictable stuff to him. Damn, like the way he studies people, like with Point Dexter, when you saw how he goes deep, he knows what button to push to make you do what he wants you to do is impressive. It's impressive. And the fact that they showed us how he does it in that particular episode was amazing. Point Dexter, on top of that, whoa. Bullseye is amazing, the way he fights, yo. He's not that best at hand-to-hand -hand combo, but when he gets a hold of anything spiky, or damn, he's dangerous. I hope he becomes something else. And they're giving him surgery now, probably gonna enhance him in some way. Who knows if Netflix stop doing those power moves against Disney and stop canceling these shows. We know what you're doing. Mm, Foggy, we had the glimpse inside his fa family. Also, Karen, glimpse inside her family, her history, her relationship with her dad, and why it's rocky. Like, damn, she was self sabotaging herself. She tends to do that a lot. Matt Murdock and Karen didn't have that romantic relationship this season. They just had friendship. Like, the friendship was too messed up for them to think about them being something. You know what I'm saying? I legit give the season like 9 out of 10, but I'm still going to talk about Wilson Fisk for a second. Him and his love for Vanessa made him so dangerous. Yo, and especially when they were a combo. I feel like he should have listened to the British guy when it came to Asian Medida or whatever his name was. He was also an interesting character. I knew he was going to be useful for this season alone. I kind of could get that already from what I was getting from from the jump, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, phenomenal season. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Deuce.